What's good, YouTube? Back at it again with another reaction. You about to react to Patrick Beverly emotional interview at because he lost his grandfather, I think today. So let's get it started. Mm -mm. Hello, everybody. Pat uh, Adams Point from Sports Radio Six Ten. What has this night been like for you? Uh. Long, well, I mean, frustrating. Wake up from a nap. You lose your nap every day to hear the person that uh, raised you and, you know, nine other cousins or siblings or whatever. And to hear somebody, you know, to hear that he passed. And, uh, the man of the family. Mm. Didn't have any children, but accepted everyone. Uh, each one of us, like he was his, like where we were his. And it was tough, man. It was tough. He's been in my life since I can remember. Um, been in my cousin's life since I remember. Uh, it's tough. So today was a tough one. Pat Brian Smith, Houston Chronicle. Um, what, what was your grandfather's name? Uh, my name was Reese Morris. I spent a lot of time uh, in the military. Uh, my grandma uh, adopted a lot of children, so growing up, I had a lot of siblings, and you know, he was there since the beginning, as long as I can remember. And uh, uh, it's just tough, man. It's so hard, so tough. I mean. Just him being at every single game that he could probably make it to. Um, <laughs> mm, it's a tough one for me. When you, when you walked off the court, Ryan Anderson, you know, who you're obviously close with, he, he, he grabbed you close. Mike D'Antoni was praising you after the game, saying you're the heart and soul of this team. How, how did basketball in game four help you, you know, maybe get through tonight? I, mean, I, I, mean, I talked. I talked to my family members. You know, my my first cousin. You know, all my family back home in Chicago. You know, everybody. You know, wanted me to. You know, play tonight. And I was. I was gonna try to get on the next flight uh, to Chicago. And, you know, I'm. 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 I'm really a strong guy, and I, I can deal with a lot of things. But I can't. I, I can't deal with anybody suffering. And you know, he, he, he suffered, but he's. I mean, he's in a better place now. Mm. And uh, Damn. and I try to go out there and uh, I try to go out there and play as hard as I could for my teammates tonight, man. And it's just tough. I had to be there for my grandmother. Yeah, that's, that's the only man she knew for the last twenty six years. I had to be there for my mom be there for my cousins back home in Chicago. It's just tough, man. It's just it's just tough. It's so tough, man, because everybody know I work I work so extremely hard mm. to prove, you know, to prove myself each and my every eyes day. are watering. I don't know what the yeah, fuck somebody going on. Somebody could support me the whole way. Wore my jerseys every single day of his life. R wore my Russian my Russian jerseys every single day of his life, man. To have a person like that, man, just you know, been taken from me is hard. It's so hard, but you know, it's a bigger plan. You know, I'm gonna keep my faith, of course, and I'm gonna be there for my family. You know, but you know, anyone who, who has, you know, grandparents, mothers, whatever, you know, to have them taken away from me, is super, super hard. Thanks. That's crazy. Man, damn, that sucks. The shit that happened with Isaiah Thomas' sister, now this, this shit is crazy. It brings you back to, like, NBA players or regular people, too, man. That's crazy, bro. Praise out to him and his family, man. That's the end of the video. For more reactions, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.